So to create this flyer, we want to go ahead and add a background. So click on your adjustment and you want to choose a solid color. Now we want to choose something in the blue-ish, something like that. Go ahead and click OK. So I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop this image and scale it. I'm going to change the blend mode to divide. I'm going to go ahead to rescale. Now the next thing we want to do is go ahead and bring in the smoke effect. And I'm going to increase that as well. We're going to change the blend mode to soft light. And I'm going to go ahead to scale it and make it bigger like that. Now we are going to go ahead to take the opacity down. The next thing is we want to go ahead and click on our adjustment. We want to add a gradient effect. So we are going to click on our color and we are going to choose the dark blue. Now you want to make a duplicate. So select the layer, command J, make a duplicate. Now the top layer, we want to double click on our gradient thumbnail and you see the angle. We want to change the angle. I'm going to go ahead to click OK. So now that we have our background set, we want to go ahead and just begin to type in our text. So I'm going to pick up my font tool and I'm going to go ahead to type in the word cross. I'm going to highlight and I'm going to change the font style to be buzz and I'm going to change the, the style to bold. I'm going to pick up my move tool and I'm going to go ahead to scale and set this in place. Now you can make your text bigger or smaller depending on how you want yours to look. Now I want to make a copy of this to type in the bottom text. Command J, make a copy, move this down double click and type over and I'm going to rescale and make this big so it fits right in between. Now the next thing that we want to do is bring in some textured image to apply to our text. So I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop this in and I'm going to go ahead to scale it and I'm just going to apply it to the top layer. So I'm going to move my image to the top of my cross. I'm going to make a copy before I clip it. So Command J, make a copy, and I'm going to move that to the top of over. I'm going to hold down my options. I'm going to hold down options and clip my image to the over. Now I need to move this out of the way and then bring this down. Now I'm going to move this to the top, hold down options and clip that as well. Now with the cross, we want to take out the texture on the O. So you want to go ahead and click on your image layer, add a layer max, up your rectangular marquee tool. You can go ahead and draw a rectangle around this. Pick up your brush tool with your foreground as black, black height, white reveals. You want to make sure your cap locks is off so you can see your brush head. I'm going to add a layer max to my image above my cross. Now, because I've already made a selection, I need to inverse my selection. So I go to select inverse and then now I can add my layer max. Basically, it cuts out that portion of my image. Now that we have this, we want to go ahead and apply uh, layer style. So I'm going to add a drop shadow. So we have this effect. Now you can increase your brush thickness. You can also increase your opacity as well as your spread. And I'm going to go ahead and inner glow. So we have this effect. I'm going to click OK. And we are going to basically copy our layer style, right click on your font and go ahead and basically copy layer style, go to your next font, right click and then hit paste. So the next thing we're going to do is that we want to go ahead and bring in an image that we will infuse over the O. So I'm going to drag and drop this image in. 
and I'm going to set it above and I'm going to hold down options and I'm going to clip it. Now we need to pick up our marquee tool and we are going to go ahead and draw, draw a rectangle around the O and we are going to add a layer mat to hide the rest of our image. We're going to go ahead and change the blend mode of our image to linear light. And I'm going to go ahead and bring in another image that we are going to set over the O. And I'm going to go ahead and pull this to the top from our layers panel. I'm going to go ahead to increase it, make it big. Now we are going to reduce the opacity of our image so we can see the text in the background. We are going to select our marquee tool and we are going to go ahead to make a copy and I'm going to right click and hit via copy and I'm going to increase the opacity. I'm going to pick up my move tool, select it and we are going to just stretch it like that. Double click to accept now I'm going to increase the opacity of the bottom and change the blend mode to screen. Command J, make a copy. I'm going to turn off the bottom layer, add a layer max, pick up your brush tool, and we are going to go ahead to basically erase these areas. We blend in our image with our background. So we have something like this. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn on the other image. I'm going to pull that above and I'm going to go ahead to change the blend mode of that to normal. And I'm going to go ahead to cut this area. I'm going to cut it out. and I'm going to right click and make a copy and I'm going to turn off the image, the bottom image, and I'm going to move this up to align with the door. So with this set, we are going to add a layer max and then pick up our brush tool and we are going to paint around this area so we can blend in our image with our background. So the next thing we're going to do is we want to go ahead and add a new layer at the top. Pick up your poly lasso tool and we want to go ahead and create a bigger light source and we are going to make sure that our foreground color is, is yellow and we are going to pick up our gradient tool. We are going to go ahead and draw this gradient command D to D select. We are going to change the blend mode to overlay. We are going to go ahead and add in a solid color. So go under your adjustment, click on a solid color, and we are going to choose a deep blue-ish color. And I'm going to set it in place just like that. And I'm going to go ahead and move this to the bottom. We're going to go ahead and drag and drop in this background image. So go under your property, click on convert layer. Now you want to go ahead and click on remove background. And we want to go ahead and right click and say apply layer style. Now we want to change the blend mode of this image and we are going to set it to linear burn and I'm going to go ahead to decrease the opacity to about a 42 and I'm going to also change the fill to about a 24. I'm going to go ahead and pick up my move tool and we are going to increase the scale like that. Now we are going to add a layer max to this image and we're going to pick up our brush tool with our foreground as black you know, black height, white reveals. Now we want to decrease our opacity a little and we want to basically dab in some of these areas and basically hide some of the clock uh, effects on our image. So we have something like this. Now, the next thing that we want to do is to bring in our concrete background texture. 
So I'm going to drag and drop this in and we are going to scale it and make it big. And I'm going to change the blend mode of this. We are going to set it to divide. I'm going to pick up my move tool and I'm going to increase it to fill up the entire canvas like that. We want to go ahead and add a layer max. And with our brush, we want to do a similar thing. We want to dab in some of the areas. So we do have the concrete texture effect, but is not too strong so with this set we want to go ahead and bring in the next image which is our smoke effect i'm going to go ahead and scale it make it big i'm going to double click to accept now we want to change the blend mode of this and we are going to set it to exclusive now we are going to reduce the opacity to about a 28 thereabout so with this set we are going to go ahead and we are going to type in the rest of our text. So pick up your type tool, change your foreground and background to white. Now we can choose the fonts that we want. I'm going to go ahead and use Rosy Lender and I'm going to type in service. I'm going to highlight everything except the S. Under my property, I'm going to change, I'm going to take off the cup locks. And I'm going to go ahead to scale this, make it big. And we are going to move this font and set it all the way to the top. And I'm going to move it up. Now we want to go ahead and double click on our text. It will bring up the layer style. We can add a drop shadow. We can reduce our drop shadow effect. So we have something like this. Go ahead and click OK. Now, the next thing we want to do is to continue to add in the different text. So I'm going to go ahead to choose the B bus and I'm going to set the style to bold and I'm going to increase my font by using the move tool and I'm going to set this right there. So we have the time and this is a cross service. Now, the next thing we want to do is to add the 31st, which is when the event is taking place. So I'm going to choose a different font. I'm using the good time font and I'm going to type in 31st. I'm going to highlight and we're going to change this font to ethnocentric and I'm going to make this big. We're going to double click on it and we're going to change the color to red, a hot red so it's visible from the bottom and we are going to set it right there so with this set we want to go ahead and add in our lens flare effect so you want to go ahead and drag and drop in and you want to change the blend mode of this we are going to set that to screen and we are going to move it up in the layers panel we're going to pick it up and drag it to the very top we're going to set it to the very top just like that now pick up your eraser tool and you want to click ok to convert it into a smart object and then delete that little piece so the last thing we want to do is i want to go ahead and add a new layer at the top and i'm going to pick up my brush tool with my foreground and i'm just going to go ahead and do some dabbing so that i can make this place a little bit darker now we want to move this layer and we want to set it on the bottom layer now we want to pick up our eraser tool there is a little bit of a white line that we want to get rid of so we want to change this into a smart object and we want to go ahead and erase this area so we want to go to our adjustment add a color look up go to the property and we are going to choose the Fuji Interna 250D and this is the effect it gives you. Now, if it's too much, you can basically reduce the opacity of that. So you just get a little of that effect on your final flyer. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in the next tutorial.